So let's start off with this guy, and we're going to correlate this solve with this solve and this solve. And something fun that you can do is you can see if you can do an alternative solve of this puzzle, since I'm sure you've solved it a thousand times and you want to maybe look at it with fresh eyes, how to solve it with this. Now, this is going to be the base puzzle. So the solve that I'm going to do with this is what we're ultimately going to reduce everything to and do our final solve. And that's going to be with with these with this kind of puzzle here, and um, what we're going to do with our with our cube. Now, in previous videos, I've always looked at the master cube and the elite cube as evolutionary offshoots. I now no longer believe that to be the case. The master cube and the uh, elite cube and the royal cube and everything these are just shape mods of higher orders of tetrahedrons. That's what uh, that's what they are. And they can be looked at and solved exactly like those tetrahedrons, which is a little bit of a different solve than the way that we've been doing it. Okay, so it's real simple. What I'm going to do is I'm going to scramble this up here. Okay, and now we'll scramble our skew. So remember, this is practical math. This isn't something that uh, you're going to see in anything other than the world of twisty puzzles. Okay. So now let's uh, let's get our perspective, and we can scramble this guy too. I used to look at all of these as variations of cubes. Now I'm going to look at all of them as variations of the th the three layer tetrahedron as the base puzzle. As I'm getting the scheming down, we can start to talk about the full collection and how everything fits together. Okay, so when looking at it, um, I'm gonna say that, that this has been pulled out so that all these look the same. So this is center or it could be a corner. I'm defining certain things as centers and corners, but the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my corners here um, and I'm gonna put them all together. So green to green, but it's gotta be the right color green. So let's look for the green and red. Green and red is here. So what I'm going to do is I've got to move it up to here. You can see it's upside down. If that happens, just move it down, across, and back up. Still not right. So you keep doing that until it's in. So these two are joined with each other. Then the next one is going to be this guy over here. Put them up here. So now these are joined fine. Um, these colors match. So what I have is I have these corners are in, and I'm not worried about the centers. Okay? So centers, don't worry about corners I'm putting in. I'm putting in. So I have the side of one corner. So what's the equivalent to this? Well, all the centers and the corners look the same. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to predefine what are my corners and what are my centers. So when taking a look at one turn, say a face turn, I can see that this can be a center and these can all be corners. So what I'm going to do is the same thing. I'm going to match the colors of these corners. So uh, let's do a green one here. So remember, center in the middle and these corners. You can sort of visualize the pyramid. So it looks like this. So these are the corners. This is uh, a corner over here too. So you can sort of see the pyramid in that. All right, so here's green. I'm going to match up another green here. Uh, let's see if we can find another green right over here. So green. So this has to match up with this. So I'm looking for a white over here and a red over here. It is this one. I simply have to twist it in. Okay, boom. So you can see, now ignore this. This is the center. It's, it's, it's correctly placed, but that was just by random chance. Let me actually do this. Okay, I did that just to get that out of there. So you can see these these all match up over here. And what we're dealing with here is these are edges now. So this is either a center or a corner, and these are all edges. So the next step that I do now, we can do the same thing over here. Let's predefine um, what corners are going to be. Now in this case, with the octahedron, um, this is a this will be a center, and my three corners are going to be. Uh, this corner 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 now the thing about the octahedron is i don't know what's the correct color here i actually have to use an edge to kind of guide me so if this is a yellow here i'm just going to put in going to match it up with the yellow and say okay it's going to be blue over here so here here and 
here. So this is yellow. I'm going to put a blue one in here. Blue. So it's supposed to go down into here. Well, I'm going to need another yellow one to, to tell me that. So I'm going to put this yellow over here. But it's got to be a yellow and green. So here's a yellow and green. Let's move this out of the way here. And boom. Okay. So what this tells me is that's going to be orange. So this is correct. So yellow, blue, and orange, and that matches with these. So I needed these to sort of guide me. But here's our tetrahedron inside of that. Okay. So, so there's that. The next step now is now that I have my side, I'm going to put my edges in. And to put the edges in, there's a bottom layer here. As long as I'm moving this bottom layer, it does not affect this. So two, here are my corners. Here's the bottom layer down here. As long as I move that, it's not going to affect it. And so too with this, bang, bang, zoom. Here's my bottom layer over here. Okay, so it's going to be fun to kind of skew your perspective. I'm going to put this on top and I'm going to wheel in these edges. So I'm looking for the blue and green. It's here. It's probably up here somewhere. It's right here. So I'm going to look for the green and yellow, which is probably up here too. So I'm going to look for the green and red right over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, I'm going to rotate this corner down, line this green to here, and bring it up. So this is all in. So now here's the green and yellow. I'm going to move this down, line it up, bring it in, so we're good. And now for this, this is the last green left, so move it across here, move this down, bring it in, move it up. Okay, so we have all of this, this side is done except for the center, but that's okay. So if I were to do that with the next step over here, uh, let's see what we got. I remember what we did here, so good, good, and good. Now what I want to do is I want to move these in. I want to move these uh, uh, edges in. So same kind of thing. Um, the white one is here already. So let's look for the red one. Here's a red one. So I'm going to move the red one to the side. I'm going to bring this down to this layer. Move it in. Move it up. It's in. Okay, what about the green one? Here's the green one. Move it down. Move it in. Move it up. Green one's done. The white one, here it is over here. Move it down. Move it in. Move it up. That's done. So this is equivalent to this. That's what I have going on over here. Um, same thing over here too. Just to refresh our memory. These are our, our corners. Uh, our yeah, our corners. So now I want to put the edges in. So which ones are our edges? Well, these guys are the edges. Uh, I already have this, this, and this. I just need to put this one in. That's going to be the blue and orange. Here's the blue and orange over here. So I'm going to bump this out of the way. Move it down, bring this in, bring this up. Okay, so now we can see that, um, these centers are in and these corners are in as well. Okay, so these are all equivalent to each other. The next step is I go to this bottom area, I'm gonna turn this upside down, and I'm just gonna turn this corner where it's supposed to be. And that's over here, boom. So these corners are now all lined up. Now I gotta get the edges in. To get the edges in, I take a look. There's a couple of possible configurations. Uh, sometimes one is in um, and it's right side up. Sometimes it's upside down, but we'll just kind of take a look. Uh, where's the blue and red one? It's right here. This blue and red one simply needs to move over in this direction over here. If none of them are in and none of them are upside down, then I'm just gonna do an algorithm to rotate these around. And I'm gonna rotate them around until at least one of them is in. And that's going to do R U R I U R U R I. Okay? So let's see what that did. Well, right now, still none of them are in, so I'm going to do it again. R U R I U R U R I. Okay. This is the most common configuration that you're going to see. One is going to be in, and these two, uh, these two are going to be um, upside down. So these are flipped. All right, so all I did was I did that R U R U R U R I U. It's sort of a variation of the SUNY, but in a tetrahedral version as opposed to a hexahedral version. When you see this, what you're going to do is you're going to do a three cycle and exchange these three with each other, including this one. So you can start from the right or the left, it doesn't really matter. You're going to go down, down, up, up. Okay? Now, 
this belongs over here, but what's going to happen is find which one, when you move it down, is going to be in place. So it's usually going to be the one just opposite the one that can go in place that you, that you just took out, right? It's going to be this one. So I'm going to hold it over here, because this blue will come over to here, and I just do down, down, up, up, and that will put in all of your edges. So how do I translate that to here? Okay, well, all of our edges are in over here, so this is what we're doing. Um, this is the, uh, the second layer. So I'm going to rotate the corner just like I did with this, rotate this into place, boom. Now I take a look at what's happening here, and same thing. This belongs here, this belongs here, and this belongs here. So I'm going to do that same algorithm. And that algorithm is going to be that RU, 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 RU. And we're going to do that without moving this... Um, this piece here, because this is also another corner piece. So we're going to be moving it up from here. So it's going to be... Uh, um, yeah, so this is going to come up here. So it's going to be right to the side. This is going to come up. So R, U, R, I, U, R, U, R, I. So this is in, and now these are all lined up. Now notice... This has equivalency of rotation. This did not. So this might truly be in that same configuration where this is upside down, but we don't care because, well, it's upside down. And if it's upside down, it's equivalent. So all we had to do is we had to do that once. So this is the same situation as this where all these edges are all in. The only thing that's out is what we have defined as our centers. All right, so let's take a look at this guy over here. Let's get our perspective about us. I believe we had this. It was white, green, and um, it was green, and it was orange. Oh, we can use these. Okay, so it was these guys over here. All right, so these are all in. So now we're going to do it upside down. Now, we don't know where this is supposed to be, right? So this is the, the corner. We're not sure how to twist that. So we're once again going to have to use one of these. So we'll we'll just kind of move this in. Um, so this one is already in. Now um, we're going to say that this is correct. So we take a look at these guys and see what we have. In this case, this is upside down and this is upside down. It's the same configuration. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to go down, down, up, up. So this. Uh, can be placed back down again, but instead it's going to be this one, the one right next to it, that is going to go to here. So you can see this red will join to here. So turn it over here and go down, down, up, up, and it should be in. So now what we have is that same configuration. These are centers, these are centers, and these are centers. Okay, so um, what, what we're going to do now is we have to get these centers in, and all the time, 100% of the time, in this particular puzzle, you're going to have a cycle of these two and these two. So you're going to have uh, two that are going to be cycling with each other. And the way this works is you're going to hold it in front of you so that you have these two that are going to flip-flop. You're going to go up, up, across, down, back. And you're going to do that three times. So it was one, two, 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 three, 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 three. And it solves it. So that was like an R U R I U I, just a quick commutator. So we find the same thing over, that might be easier if we find it over here. So which ones are what we're going to see? So these two have to exchange, and then these two have to exchange. So remember, this was our uh, edge. These are our edges. So we're going to go one, 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 two, 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 three, 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 and this is solved. Now, a little more complicated here because notice these had rotational symmetry, um, ro rotational equivalence. So this could be any um, number of upside down or who knows, it's not a super cube. These do not. So now orientation uh, matters. So where does this go? Well, this is the white and blue, so this is going to go here and this is going to go here. Fair enough. I'm going to flip out these two. This belongs here and this belongs here. You know, the one with the red in it. So get a perspective. Th this is our edge. And we do that same algorithm, but in this case we go one, 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 R, U, R, I, U, I. That was two. Now three, 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 three. Now in all the other puzzles, you are done. 
but these are all rotated wrong. So now, what do we do? What's our last step to get this correct? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to rotate this, just do a rotation with the center where it's supposed to be. Like if this were a super cube, we'd simply rotate that center. So this needs to rotate um, counterclockwise. So that's what we're going to do. Just rotate your center counterclockwise, boom. Now go ahead and swap these two again. And when you're done swapping them, rotate it back and then swap them back. So basically we did a clockwise rotation because this belongs here, this belongs here, this belongs here. So we'll do like a UI, then one, 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 two, 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 three, 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 three. Okay, now just rotate it back. If you forget, you can just match these corners up. So we did a UI, now we just do a U. And I'll flip them back. One, 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 two, 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 three, 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 three. Okay, this is now in, but you're going to find that not all of them are, so we just have to do it again. So this, these belong where they are, but they're rotated wrong. So we're going to take this, and this is going to rotate with a U move over here. Boom. Now flip them. One, 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 one. Two, 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 three, 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 three. And I'll flip it back. Whoop. That was a U, so now we're going to do a UI. And I'll flip it back. One, 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 two, 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 three, 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 three. Okay, so that part's done. We have one more. These two same kind of things. Now, usually it doesn't happen where you have to do it three times, but um, uh, it, it goes very fast. So do a UI. One, 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 two, 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 three, 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 three. Go back with a U and finish it up. One, 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 two, 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 three, 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 and done. Okay, so that's how you solve all of these tetrahedral truncated and modified versions of this, uh, of this puzzle. What we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and solve all these others using exactly that same process. This process is going to be a reduction to here. But I'm going to leave you with this question before moving on, now that we've, we're done with the theory. I'm going to say this is equivalent to this is equivalent to this. We're now going to understand and redefine what a pyraminx actually is, and that is an offshoot, that is a truncated version, that is an Archimedean solid and not a platonic solid. We're now defining these as also a truncation of the baseline twisty puzzle platonic solid, which is tetrahedral. And this is just a modified version to make all of these sides look the same. So these are modified over here. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go into this guy over here. And this is going to be something that gets reduced to this puzzle. But here's my question. Is there a puzzle that is a skewed version of this. I'll tell you, a um, tetra, uh, an octahedral version of this does not exist. But is there a cubic version of this puzzle that does exist? Because look at what this uh, what this is actually doing. This is really a modified version of this puzzle, just the way a four x four is a modified version of a five x five. All they did is they buried the centers here. They buried this piece, this piece, this piece, and this piece, and they have this little you know, uh, a divot over here, and you just have these pieces over here. But they didn't do that to this piece. So you have one, two, three layers. This is one, two, three layers also. But here's the thing. You don't have exact symmetry on each side. For this, this turn has the same pieces as this turn. But this turn does not. If I turn this turn over here, I've got a corner, I've got three edges, and I've got some center pieces over here. But if I do this turn, it's very different. I've got three corners, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six edges, and I've got uh, three center pieces over here. So this turn is not equivalent to this turn. And my question is, what twisty puzzle out there is the exact hexahedral modification um, piece by piece is this puzzle over here. So think about the answer to that, and as soon as you get enough answers that, uh, that were correct, we'll go through the solve of this. 
Uh, any questions or comments, let me know. Thanks for watching.